Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be talking about the top three things that lenders are looking for and listening for when investors call them looking for debt. And the expert we've brought in to answer that has done in the billions of debt placement. Stick around, let's go! Today, we've got Gil Dolan, the Managing Director of Greystone & Company. Greystone is a top 10 Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae lender, number one in FHA multifamily and healthcare lending, and they're a top three Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac small loan lender. Now, gil has been lending for 15 years in the commercial real estate lending business, and he's done well over a billion dollars in business, and he actually opened the Houston office for Greystone back in 2018. A lot of the best investors in the country are using Gill to finance their properties. A little more about Gill and how you can reach him is down in the description. Make sure you click on his links. Let's jump into this. Gail, my brother, thanks for being on, man. I appreciate it. I know you've been in the business for a long time and there's a lot of folks that are going to be watching this. They're going to want to hear what you have to say. I want to jump into, you know, what are the top three things that if a borrower or an investor calls you and you're having a conversation with them and you're asking them some questions and you're finding out a little bit more about them, what are the top three things that when you find this out or that, or that you've heard that they've already taken care of or done or whatever it is, you're like, yes, I've got someone I can do some business with. Like, I like this guy. Tell me, what's your first one? Oh, that's a great question. And I'm going to answer your question probably not how you're expecting it. It's more about the character and the conversation of that phone mm. call. So what I think is extremely important is an investor's ability and willingness to listen. The Praise the Lord right there, brother. <laughs> that is some excellent advice. The lending business, the debt markets for multifamily finance change every week, if not every day. It's as much as investors think the lending business is a commodity, it is not. The first part is when an investor calls me is to have the ability to listen and to understand what's going on in the lending market today. For instance, Freddie Mac this morning increased their pricing by 10 basis points. The deal today is different than yesterday afternoon. Yep. And for those watching, this is being recorded December 1st, 2021. So the market changes every day. And on top of that, whether the investor likes it or not, I mean, Wall Street's got a great influence on that. When the market is rallying, your debt tends to get better. When the market's suffering, the debt tends to change or could get even worse. And so it really does change every single day. So what I like in that first conversation is an investor's willingness to listen, to understand. They're coachable. Is coachable. That's, that's exactly right. I agree. Coachability is huge, man. It's a big, big deal. I couldn't tell you how many times I've had the conversation, but hey, my, my buddy, uh, he got a 2.75 interest rate. That's what I want. It's like there's many, many factors that go exactly in. as there is in pricing deals for listings. As brokers, we get calls. Hey, my buddy just sold his deal for twelve point two million dollars and a four point one cap. Mine's three complexes over. Let's compare apples and apples, brother. Number two, a well thought out business plan. Oof. Every deal, just like we're talking about, every deal is different. Every equity partner is different. Every general partner is different. Every market's different. And so a well thought out business plan. Gil, here's this deal. I'm about to go under contract or I'm an LOI or I just got the book this morning. It doesn't matter at what stage it's in. If the investor has their business plan honed in on, I get better at my craft and delivering them the best loan terms in the most efficient manner that works for that. And is there brownie points for an actual written out plan that they provide to you, like a one or two page summary of here's our plan of action with this property? Always helps, not necessarily required. A model is the best thing that I can have. Hey, here's how the seller operates. Here's how I operate. Here's where rents are on a per bedroom basis. Here's the market rents that we're going to get to. Gil, I'm going to own this for three years or Gil, I want to own this for 20 years. At the end of my value add, Gil, I am going to sell it. Or at the end of my value add, I'm going to refinance it. I'm buying this for cash flow. I'm buying this for value add gains, whatever it may be. A well thought out business plan for the asset specific helps me get targeted in the loan terms that I'm going to be able to provide. Which for the th those who are syndicators, they're putting together those kinds of business plans and packages anyway for their investors. Um, so they should have that together for you. But then there's also partnerships who don't have investors 
investors to answer to. There's private investors. And so those are the ones who really need to be thinking about having that structure in mind before they call you. Exactly. And Gil, I want to own this for three years and sell it. You don't want 10 year fixed rate debt. Gil, I want to own this and it's going to go into the family business. Like, I don't think you want that expensive short term recourse debt. My business plan of this is what I'm intending to do with the asset really allows me to efficiently and quickly get you the best terms for the acquisition. Beautiful. What about number three? Organization, Bo. So organization is key. So even before you have a deal, let's have a bio of yourself. Let's have a real estate schedule put together of the deals that you own, the deals that you sold. Let's have a property manage, whether you self-manage or third party it. Let's have a bio with the number of units that they manage in the market. These are things you can do before you even have a deal. When the deal comes, if you can get us your insurance agent, your attorney, the title company, all that information up front, that is work that slows down down the deal, especially in today's cycle with four cap rates, with record transaction volumes, third-party reports are taking the longest that they've ever taken. Yeah. If we can have an organized borrower, including the org chart of the borrower, here's me, here's my partners, here's who's general partner, here's who's not. Legal searches take a while. You don't want those things being delivered and processed at the end of the acquisition. Those things should be processed up front and communication should be addressed up front. We can have that in the neat, tidy bucket, that is going to save a lot of heartache and that's going to save a lot of stress as we approach the finish line of an acquisition. So to stop it up for you about coachability, willingness to listen, to understand that we're in the market day by day. This is what we do. We have a pulse on the debt. Uh, Fannie and Freddie are constantly changing. So willingness to listen about why your deal qualifies for this, a well thought out business plan. What do you want to do with this asset? Short term, long term, that determines your loan that you need to be pursuing. That allows me to be faster and more aggressive. And then just organization. Those three things, if we've got those locked in up front, it's just a much better process for everybody involved. All three of those are right up there on the real estate brokerage side and and probably in in a lot of businesses. Great, great points. Thank you so much for being on here. I'm definitely going to have you on again and we'll hit some other tackling points. So I appreciate it. See you on the next one, man. Absolutely, Bill. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. I told you Gil knows what he's talking about. Some great advice there, guys. If you got good value out of this video, please hit the like down below. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so it automatically notifies you when the next video comes out each week. See you on the next one.